Alright guys, I'm going to show you how you can um, use screen capture facilities on the 5800 to um, capture uh, screenshots of um, your daily use of the 5800. You can also show people how to do things using this and um, it's pretty simple to use. So what you want to do is install uh, the application by dragging the SIS file into a directory and then browsing to it. So once you've installed it, you won't need to sign it or anything. Um, once you've installed it, you want to uh, set it up. So what you want to do to set it up, you want to browse to your applications. I'm using the Handy Shell, um, and uh, you want to set it up here. So you've got things like what you want to do with the image once you've took the capture. You can save it or send it your base file name and then it'll add some numbers on the end depending on how many screenshots you've taken where you want to store it and the folder you want to store it in you've also got the quality of the image as you can see I'm using high quality images um, and the shortcut key to take the picture so for mine I hold the camera button here in but not all the way in so it's like focusing but when I press that it will take my screenshot so what I'm going to do is show you some taking some screenshots if go to the home of my shell so um, all I'm going to do is hold this button in halfway and um, you'll know when it's taking a screenshot because you'll hear the uh, verification noise that's it that's the verification noise to let me know that I've took um, a successful screenshot I'm going to take a screenshot of this page as well and uh, I'll upload some screenshots of the 5800 so you can see just how high quality the images that are getting produced are so um, I put the download description in the uh, I put the download link in the description you will need to sign up to daily SE forum to um, download it but it's a great forum I've learned a lot there and um, you'll be able to learn quite a bit of things Alright, so subscribe to this channel and sign up to www.dailymobile.se slash forum. Also check out their blog on the homepage. And uh, thanks for watching.